this a typical Urban Meyer team, you think? And a lot of times it's hard to do that in your first year somewhere. Well, yeah, you know, I think the, the most important part is, you know, he's going to he's gonna play to his players' strength. And, you know, they're an undefeated team right now, so obviously, uh, you know, he's, 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 he's catering to what his players can do and he's getting the most out of them. When you look at their defense, what uh, stands out? They're big and strong up front. I mean, they're... Uh, their front, their their front guys, you know, and start with Simon, number 54. Um, I think he's as good as there is in the country by any means. And you look across, you go 52, 53, 54. Take your pick up front. They're big, and they're thick. Uh, they're real athletic. They're strong. You look in the back, uh, in the Mike Backer. Uh, you take a look at their their, their Sam, uh, number 19. He's running around. He's long. Um, does a good job of pointing. Uh, the receiver out there on the perimeter, whether it's a receiver or a tight end on the perimeter. Ryan Shazier, I know well, number 10. Um, uh, and I recruited him and uh, had a chance to sit in his house, did a home visit with him. He's an extremely, extremely athletic player, fast and strong. So I know, you know, obviously I know what type of player he is. And in the back end, you know, they're extremely talented. You, know, you take a look at what they've done. Uh, they've got a bunch of interceptions in the back end. I just, you know, it seems like you turn around on every now and then you, you see, uh, uh, you know, you're watching cut ups, you see a, a DB pick one off and take it to the house, and um, they, they do a good job. They're playing hard right now. Talk about your group. Are they making the progress that uh, you wanted and talked about all along? Well, I think what we've done is we, you know, uh, we, we've used multiple players. Uh, Justin Hardy played uh, in a package last week and was very successful, did a pretty good job for us. And uh, I was proud of his effort, the way he played. Uh, you took Miles will say who got more snaps. I think he was between 25 and 30, 30 snaps somewhere around there in, the, in this last week's game. Um, he's a guy that's kind of added some depth to our position now. You know, he was healthy, or he was he, he was banged up a little earlier, and then we needed him at quarterback. So, um, you know, we had intended all along to be able to swing him around and use him at multiple positions, but based on health of, uh, of other positions and his. Um, so now uh, he's been able to focus a little bit more helping me out. And then, uh, you know, obviously Darius had a pretty good game this past week. He had five catches, a little you know, over 80 yards right there. And, um, I thought he's coming along. You know, he's he's that's that's what I expect of him. He had a pretty darn good game. Spence created a winning performance, and you know, Link didn't get a chance to get the, the ball in his hands a ton, but um, he's playing well. So, um, you know, we, we've we've got to continue. We've got to be better, and we've got to be able to break plays. I think if you look around the country, we've got to be able to make a guy miss and take it to the distance, uh, take it to the house, and make uh, make make us make us get in the end zone. I think you. Um, that's probably the thing that we're lacking the most uh, at my position. And uh, is that something you think Miles gives you? Yeah, I, I think Miles gives us, some, you know, some toughness. I think he gives us just a guy that can be multiple. You know, he's a guy that he's a quarterback, he's a running back, he's a receiver. So there's always a different threat when he comes on the football field as well. What are they going to do with him? And um, I think that's kind of one of the benefits that we've we've had with him.